with cystic fibrosis, my weight fluctuates. But do I keep jeans for when that happens? I dropped Harry off for a cardiac consult and echocardiogram. I knew that while Harry was gone, I would be counting down the minutes till he would be coming home. So last night, this was one of the pieces of furniture that Peter bought a whole set of these wooden, it's Ethan Allen, I guess kind of vintage, um, it was a big desk unit. This is one of the pieces. And there are three more pieces upstairs. He bought the whole thing for $20 in Massachusetts. He sanded it and refinished the top and painted the bottom. So what I was thinking was I'd like to try it in our closet. So the craft items that I had in it upstairs, I put them in different drawers. And I saved this project for when Harry was gone. But thankfully, he was only gone for a little bit. I laid down when we got home because my head was hurting pretty bad. Do you see Ollie? So cute. So now I am going to take, these are our bins for storage for like out of season clothes. And I'm gonna kind of like reorganize. Typically when you watch or listen to organizational videos that teach you about, I don't know, organization? <laughs> Not super articulate today. Um, they will tell you get rid of anything that is not your size. If it's too big, get rid of it. If it's too small, get rid of it. Um, and that's partly just like if, say, you grew out of something like you no longer are a weight that you can wear that pair of jeans, for example, then you should get rid of it. And now I've done that before. And then I learned with cystic fibrosis, my weight fluctuates. And I am currently like, I am stable. My weight is stable. I'm at a healthy weight. And so I could get rid of the things that fit when I was at a lower weight. Because the reality is I probably will lose weight at some point and then hopefully it'll come back. But do I keep jeans for when that happens? I don't know. There are a few pairs that were tight on me back when I, before I had gained weight. And so I am gonna get rid of those because I know that those won't be comfortable even if I do lose weight. So I'm gonna get rid of those, but I have a few pair that I think I am gonna keep because jeans are not super cheap. And for me, I find it difficult to find jeans that I feel comfortable in. Um, pro tip is if you are somebody who has like digestive issues, and you find jeans uncomfortable, Old Navy has these elastic ones. It is, it's not like super elasticy like pregnancy jeans, but it, it gives you a little wiggle room. And they are the Rockstar jeggings. So there's a Rockstar that has buttons, but go with the jeggings version. It's still thick jean material, but um, it has the elastic. So I have some in the smaller size, I have some in the larger size that I fit now. And I think I'm going to just keep maybe like two pairs. And then I have a pair of jeans that fits me when I'm a higher weight than I am currently. I'm going to keep those. And I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. I think it, it's more simple for people whose weight doesn't fluctuate as much. 
it's still a bummer like oh I liked those jeans but I don't fit in them anymore um, but you kind of get rid of them and move on but uh, I don't know but I also think my weight's been stable for a year maybe I won't lose weight yeah anyway but in my case it's sort of like it's not that I'm working to get back to a weight my weight is stable and that's how we want it but there's that like asterisk of the reality of okay like back in March when I got sick um, with a virus I lost quite a few pounds in that short span of time but I was able to gain it back quickly but there's always that like well history tells me that I don't always gain it back or this or that so I don't know I don't know so that's part of what I'm doing is going through my clothes and trying to decide do I keep a just for case, just in case I lose weight uh, stash of clothes or do I get rid of them part of my decision is the clothes that were up in these gray bins I I basically I want all of our clothing to fit in this closet in our house in Massachusetts we had some overflow clothing like out of season clothing down in the basement we had some clothing in our closet some clothing out in the hallway closet and I just really appreciate that in this house there is this closet that we can keep our clothing in and we know where all of our clothes are they're in this closet and so I also want to be conscientious of like I don't want to be keeping a whole ton of stuff and I guess the other part I think I might be talking myself out of keeping these because I have found on thread up which is an online used clothing website I have gotten the Old Navy jeans on there you can also get them on Old Navy on super clearance for I think around ten dollars but on thread up you can get them for even cheaper so I kind of feel like I used to think they were rare to find but now that I think about it you can find them do I get rid of them I wish I knew somebody that would help me if I knew somebody who could use them I'd be like oh my goodness yeah take them use them please but it's a little harder when I don't want to just yeah okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take them I have a place in our laundry room for items that I no longer need whether it's like house stuff or clothing or whatever and I put items there that I'm gonna get rid of and I think I'm gonna put them out there and have it in my mind if I'm ever talking to somebody or like I'm on a couple Facebook groups where people will post their needs and other people will post things that they are done with like we just posted an office chair and I just said like we'll put it outside for germ free pickup and somebody's gonna come tomorrow morning and I've just put it outside or I'll put it out tomorrow morning so they can come get it anyway I'm gonna put the jeans in that box and I'm gonna have it in my mind if I see a post of somebody who needs that size of jeans I will offer them okay thanks good teamwork I'm gonna take a break from that project I need to go put a new Dexcom sensor on I'm in the bathroom. He, he was eating and 
He looks up at me and like food's on his face oh and it just gosh. drops down. <laughs> Very iconic. Yeah, that's crazy. We've got a bleeder. Sometimes they bleed more time more than the others. So I try to like soak up a little bit of the blood. Oh well. The other thing I have gotten in the habit of doing is taking a picture of the package and the activation code. That way, if anything happens with the sensor and it needs to be replaced, I can tell Dexcom like this, the lot number and all of that. I've been using these over patches. You can get them for free from Dexcom. And something I've learned from lots of years on IV antibiotics, when you put a dressing like this on your skin, if you haven't alcoholed or chloroprepped it thoroughly, the dressing will not stick. So before I stick this on, I make sure I mean, any speck that's going to be covered needs to be alcoholed or else that little edge will start peeling up. If, oh, I didn't quite alcohol all the way around, that little edge will start peeling up and then the whole thing. <sighs> Okay, done for another 10 days. Mary has done some work here in the closet, as you saw. I I don't notice too much of a difference. <laughs> we do have, I think Mary took, did you take some clothes from out of these baskets up yeah, here? I like reorganized okay. up there. Uh -huh. Also I moved the sheets to the laundry room. Oh yeah, cause we had those kind of like in a hanging thing here and up on top of there, yeah. so. Yeah. It does feel very neat in here right now. It's a little better. A what, little better. We, we've been evaluating whether we want to change. Uh, don't mind my organization up here. Um, Mary thinks I need to organize better oh, up here, gosh. but I just sort of throw clothes it's up there. fine. Uh, I did buy these metal things for him, uh, which that was actually for me, not for him, because he is fine with this. <laughs> anyway. We have been evaluating and kind of going back and forth about the best way to organize our closet. Well, Peter was asking me like, like, why do you want to do anything about the closet? And I was like, <laughs> I like organizing stuff. Yes. So like for me, um, yeah, I just wanted it to be a little more... A little more different. So we have some drawers now. We don't prefer using drawers as a daily means for clothing holding. Yes. We'd rather just <laughs> throw, throw it up there. <laughs> I want you to be in this clip though. I don't want it to just be me. Okay. So um, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for organizing. Even though like I don't notice the difference. I appreciate your organizing skills, and I will say Thank that you. your side of the closet looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for coming and organizing, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Good night! Good night, Ollie boy! Good night! Good night!